Hello everyone. Uh, today we will be writing a program in AngularJS of how to uh, retrieve external data from external JSON file. So we will be using the JSON file. This is the JSON file and this is the JSON data. And we will be retrieving the data and populate it in our HTML table. So let us start with our program. The script will be declared in the head section and first what we will do, we will just include this one. This is this, just a moment, uh, this is the <coughs> actual angular.main.js which is compact angular.js file, not readable by the developer. There is also another file you can include angular.js uh, which is uh, readable for developer. This is only for use purpose. We used so this is our script section. So first profit what we will do, we will declare one module. Name will be my app. You can keep the name same and this is the blank array we will pass to one blank array uh, this is actually used uh, regarding when we use say multiple when we do routing and do routing in angular js so still right now in this program we will keep this empty and in html section you have to declare one js that is ngapp equal to my app The next one is the controller. Now our my app is and module is created, so you can use it to declare for creating my controller. The name will be I will give it my controller. And in this function, we know uh, the scope is used. And the second one is we will be using the HTTP. Inside this, we will. This is the main section where we will retrieve the data. HTTP dot get. Uh, here is the file data dot JSON. I am not specifying any path because it is on the same location uh, where the test HTML is. And here, uh, if it is succeeded, then I will just cast the response. And we will declare one variable store scope dot my data and assign the response to this. So I'm done with my scripting part. Now we will go to the HTML and in the body, I will declare first declare the body. In the body, I will make it the scope for the controller, my controller. Okay, let us paste it. I don't want. Okay. Huh. So, you can also set uh, this scope within some div element. Uh, suppose you are using multiple controller, my controller one, my controller two, then you can use separate div divider element and just declare this, this ng controller into the tag. But right in this program, I will declare it in the body and table. Let us keep border equal to one. within this table row here is where I will just this is the ng repeat this is the actual portion which will repeat the number of elements say this ng repeat will repeat how many times one two three four five times 
So in the repeat, uh, it's some uh, nearly something like uh, our for loop or while loop. It's something like for loop. We write for data in my data. The difference is that you will not write any uh, for statement here. Just write data in my data. And here is the TD section. There will be two TD as you see here. There is name and there is company. So this is the view. Here I will use the data object data dot name. and data dot company so I'm almost done with this and we'll see let's see what's the result is let's go to the browser so this is my folder I'll just run this one okay see so this is the output of our data now let us change make some changes in our JSON file now let us add two or three more elements and see so I added two more elements into this <coughs> Sergey Breen, Breen and Steve Wozniak you know, they are the co-founders of Google and Apple so let us refresh the page and see it's coming so what I will show you I will just add one show you one more thing it's very interesting that is we will just add one column here and give it a name say href I will remove I will just create two things one add element to the as I am adding there from the file from directly retrieving from the file and also I'll just show you how to add dynamically from the page and you click equal to say remove name the function remove name and we will pass the data here okay so data means one is you we will pass the row and here we will declare the function so we scope dot remove name equal to function say we give it row row okay <coughs> And here scope dot my data dot splice this is a function in JavaScript splice function used on array for splice and here we will do scope dot my data dot index of row comma one how many we will remove one if you want to remove two give two and you will say remove one row oh I think there is a mistake the dollar <coughs> okay So this is the remove name and we will act, act, include another one. First we will see add okay the add adding will be I can show you in a different uh, example not today it's a, it's a complex one you have to add if, if there is a single element I can show you but here you have to include name and company so rather than that I'm showing you how to search okay so search and we will take one input type text 
value and we will use another thing in the model which will be equal to say search <coughs> okay and here in my data in my data I will put one pipe and give filter <coughs> search <coughs> so let us check whether it is working or not Steve see when I give a Steve it filtered to Steve Jobs and Steve was look when I give Larry it will come Apple and Google Google and Oracle search now with Google it uh, filters of, of entire row it will filter for each column search will be each column so see how much this is effective when you are using retrieving data from database suppose oracle you are retrieving some data okay and so if how how effective it is it every time you don't have to retrieve data from database and go went on refreshing your page reloading in your page rather than the page need to did not did not be re reloaded everything is done dynamically without in within a single page without reloading so it is wonderful the search technique so i'm out of time today i'll show you in the ne next video that how to keeping a sorting order where order by and uh, sort by and sort technique type okay whether descending or ordering ascending and sort by say name sort by company okay so that's for today and i hope you like this video uh, i'll provide this code and give, give you link of this code and <coughs> you can check the code from here so if you like the video do press please press the like button and please subscribe to my channel that is SUBHRO 190776 thank you very much